Hello everyone, DJ here. Today let's talk about the Thrift Savings Plan, or TSP. From what I have seen, this is a military benefit which many reservists do not even realize uh, they have. And for this reason, it's sadly quite underutilized. Here are a few basic points about the Thrift Savings Plan which you might find useful. This will be a first in the, a series of episodes about the TSP. For starters, as the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, a comedy novel by Douglas Adams, for those who may not know, uh, says in large letters on the front cover, don't panic. Yes, the Thrift Savings Plan is an investment plan. Yes, there is a lot of information about it. Don't let, don't let that scare you away though. This plan has been made as simple as possible to help you make decisions without being overwhelmed by the numbers. If you're a number junkie like me, the numbers can be found and endlessly analyzed to your heart's content, but most people want simplicity. The TSP is that simple plan. You can use it to build another retirement on top of the one you are earning from the military. And if you leave the military before earning a reserve retirement, you can take the thrift savings plan with you. I'm not going to go too in depth on the TSP right now. Instead, I'm going to break it up into a series of episodes which describe small, easily digestible pieces. Please look for more as time goes on. The thrift savings plan is an investment plan similar to a 401k plan. This plan was originally only available to federal employees, but was open to uniformed service members in 2002. The TSP is what is called a qualified plan. This simply means that the plan is authorized by federal law and there are tax advantages to use this type of plan. There are two basic types of thrift savings plan account, traditional and Roth. A traditional TSP plan lets you contribute money to the account before taxes are taken out of your pay. This means you pay less in taxes right now. Later on, when you withdraw the money, you pay taxes on the funds you contributed and any earnings on them. In contrast, a Roth TSP plan lets you contribute money on an after-tax basis. This, that means there is no immediate tax advantage, but you pay no taxes on the contributions and on the earnings from those contributions when you withdraw them upon retirement. That's a pretty hefty tax savings if you're a number junkie like me and actually run the numbers. The minimum age at which you can withdraw your money without a penalty is age 59 and a half. If you remove your money prior to that age, you'll pay taxes and a stiff penalty on some or all of the amount you withdraw. You can start to contribute to the Thrift Savings Plan by making an election on the MyPay website, and I'll put a link down below if by some strange chance you don't have the link to MyPay. For those who might be family members and don't know what the MyPay website is, it is simply an online pay management tool that service members can use. And again, I'll put a link down below. After you've set up contributions through MyPay, you can manage those contributions and how the money is dispersed amongst the various funds by using the TSP website. And I'll also put a link to that down below as well. You can contribute up to $18,000 per year to the TSP. That will be different based on your particular situation, but for most people, 18000 is the limit. That's not per uh, traditional or Roth plan, though. Keep that in mind. That's the total of both. Let me do a little bit of myth busting here. Several reservists who have spoken to me and said that their full-time staff are telling them that they cannot participate in the TSP because they are not on active duty. They're being told this is an active duty only benefit. 
This is one of the biggest myths I have ever found in the reserve component. There are others similar to it, you know, for other benefits, but this is one of the big ones. There are people out there telling reservists they don't qualify, and therefore reservists aren't using it. Some of the other areas where you'll hear a similar uh, misguided bit of advice from full-timers would concern educational benefits and the GI Bill. That's the same thing, but GI benefits, TRICARE, anything of that nature. None of these, let's call them what they are, myths are true. While benefits may be slightly different for reservists versus active duty, they are virtually the same across the board. The TSP is one of those which is the same. You can participate in it if you choose. Whether or not you're active duty does not matter. Believe it or not, that's it. This will be a shorter episode this week. I'll explain other aspects of the TSP in future episodes. Consider this to be small bite number one. More will follow soon. Thank you for joining me today. If you have questions, please post them below. Have a good day, and of course, thank you for your service. If you liked what you heard on today's episode, then please go below and give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, please let other people know about this channel and the information it can provide for them. If you have questions or comments, then have no qualms about posting them in the comments section below. Please remember the RC Retirement YouTube channel and the RC Retirement website are not recognized or endorsed by the Department of Defense, the Department of Veterans Affairs, or any other government agency. The information presented in these resources are for entertainment and informational purposes only. Also, the content of either of these resources should not be considered financial or legal advice. Please consult with your own legal counsel, accountant, and financial planner before making any decisions based on what you have learned here. As always, thank you for watching the RC Retirement YouTube channel.